All right, we're doing a little maintenance here on the trailer. Uh, I'm working my way around. As you can see, we got the I got the flooring flooring in. It's kind of hard to see. Let me do it like this. This is the C deck flooring, and that's what we're going to be doing on the 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 top deck right here. I may order some more. I actually ordered two rolls, and they sent me a dang brown one and this one. They sent me two different rolls. Had the same SKU and everything on it, so I guess it was their supplier's fault, not the actual seller's fault. But this here is 65 bucks. It's, let's see here, do some math in my head. Uh, about 25 square, a little more than 25 square, or a little less than 25 square feet. So I'm gonna cover the deck here. I've watched some really good videos online on how to put this stuff in. So, and as you can see it's not wide enough to cover you know it's not gonna be wide enough to cover the, the back of the deck here so you actually create channels in it for water drainage so I'll lay it out and then I'll create channels so I'll have actually have a little gap so it'll have gap around the edges for the drainage part of it for water will run off we'll get into that later but right now I think this sucker here's had it you think I'm putting a new one on problem is you see that bolt that's back in behind here uh, it's kind of stuck can't get to it so I'm just gonna break this old piece of junk out here I got my got my trailer hitch assembly I went to do uh, give me a second guys I'm walk around here to the uh, I went to uh, Harbor Freight my wife had her doctor's appointment and they wouldn't let me in the office so piled up in Harbor Freight. Got me a thing of rivets. Got me a new jack. And remember, they got a 20% off coupon. Don't forget to use it because I did. Uh, got me a couple of couple of clamps to hold together when I rivet. And I got a heavy duty. And you can see this is not just a normal uh, wiring kit. This is a heavier, heavier uh, I think it's 12 gauge wiring kit or actually it's 14. Yeah, 14 gauge wiring kit All right, that's where we're at right now. And then I got my apple pies and uh, Pork rinds in there but And of course my trailer tongue I've got it It's in one of my vehicles. I've got three so I got it at tractor supply and the thing is let me show you something real quick here See have you got the you've got the three inch here and though it, all this is just a it's welded on i'm gonna cut that off the one that i got from a tractor supply it's actually it's this deep see how this one don't go all the way to the bottom you can order these on amazon ebay or they have them had these at harbor freight but it don't couple the whole uh channel of the trailer so the one i have do do have from tractor supply it couples the whole channel this is actually deep this deep these are short uh of course the wiring shot i mean look at this and then that's shot but anyway that's where we're at right now i'll add to this video so you're not going to get just a little bit of course i'm going to add some uh the footprint is a little bit narrow here so i'm going to actually add another piece of aluminum to the top of it all right, so where we're at. All righty, after a little bit of work, some grinding and everything, we have a new winch, a new jack, and a two inch ball with a two inch channel. So that's where we're at right now. And again, they had welded that on, so I had to cut it off. So now you can see, this is like real close right here. So, I'm gonna actually loosen that up and move it back and butt it up against that and give me a little bit of extra room. Plus, there's a little bit of gap right here anyway. That's where I'm at right now. All right, I should have like videoed how to do that, but you guys would have laughed and I probably even got these on wrong. I know I got that on right. But me having to waller the holes out, it's pretty interesting about where I hold drill bit out. All right, there we go. All right, guys, I had a little bit of extra time finally 
and I got the trailer motor mounted. As you can see, it's just temp temporary. I got it. Got the bolts through there. I got just a couple more to add, and it'll be done. I just fitted it. This thing here, I've seen several videos, and these right here on every video are hell to get in. I mean, I got pretty close, but there she blows. And then I got to tire all this out here. And then this, once I get this on, I have the iPilot conversion. I'll convert that to iPilot. So that's where we're at right now.